Hey there, and welcome to Sports Central. The weekly show that guarantees your fix of sports action. And not only that, we get up close and personal with your favorite sports personalities and emerging ones. We're your hosts, Mike Mondo. And I'm Wanjira Longauer. Mike is absolutely right. And you know what else? Sports Central is giving you the chance to win big. But in order to find out exactly what it is you need to do to win, that means you need to watch. So stay tuned. Coming up on today's episode. We're going to catch up with Sharon of the McAlanders Football Club to find out exactly what's happening with that up and coming footballer. And hey golfers, good news, we get to hang out with Team Kenya golf captain Bo Sierra. He's going to be sharing his experiences in the sport. And even more cool stuff that's coming up. We're taking it to Boy after that so we can find out what's good with the safari rally. You know what they say, dirt is good. But first, Watuangwa Rugby, you'll absolutely enjoy this. We preview the second leg of the Elgin Cup, which is also going to double up as a Rugby Africa fixture. Not only that, we jumped in for an early morning session with the Kenya 15 sides, who are the first beneficiary of the recently signed partnership between the Kenya Rugby Union and Sport Pesa. Mike, yes. you want to hear something really funky? Yep, go ahead. I bet you already know this, but I'm going to test you out anyway. <laughs> Do you know that they won three out of their four fixtures and they were all away games? It was absolutely fantastic. I watched the matches. I think they did a good job. Kudos to the teams. Absolutely. I thought that was brilliant, especially because you know at away games, everyone's rooting against yeah, you. Yeah, true that. <laughs> Stick around. We need to find out exactly what the coaches have to say. Uh, playing Uganda, we know that they'll come, uh, they'll come hard on us, they'll be physical, so we can't afford to make mistakes. Every bit of possession we have must count. So, as you've seen in our session, that's what we're working on. on when we have the possession, it must count for something, it must score points of that. Playing away in Brazil, uh, playing away in uh, Uganda, and also playing against Zimbabwe and Namibia, you can see out of four we have three. So it's a good uh, preparation for us. It's a, it's a must win for us. So it's for us to maintain, to win the Elgon Cup first. It's a two-in-one game, Elgon Cup and the Car Cup. For us to win the Elgon Cup and also for us to be number two, depending on the, how the game will go with uh, Zimbabwe and Namibia. If uh, Zimbabwe beat Nami Namibia and we win this game, we'll, we'll win the Cup. But if they beat uh, Zimbabwe, we'll become number two. So, uh, it's, it's as good as, it's an improvement from last year. From three to second, that's an improvement. Sports players are coming on board. It makes our work even easier as a technical bench. Because you now do not ma manage issues to do with, uh, with uh, allowances, nutrition. Uh, this is, uh, must say, it's, uh, one of the greatest uh, gifts the Kenya 15s team has. Uh, for a simple reason, uh, these boys have been performing quite well with literally nothing. And uh, we thank God for that because we've been hopeful that if we perform well, definitely somebody out there will notice. Please come out in numbers, support the boys. Uh, this is the first home game. Uh, it's rarely that uh, the team gets a chance to play at home. We're glad that nowadays we have at least three to four matches at home. So come out in numbers, support the guys. It's a big one. Um, we want to finish in the top 25, so this match is very important. This is home, <laughs> so there we're just going to do everything possible to make sure we come out with a win. Get it to go! Two go! Get it to go! Two go! Box! Stop! Three, two, one! Get it! Well, the squad looking absolutely perfect and ready for the weekend, right? Oh, the squad is in formation. It's lit. I am ready for some mouth-watering rugby action this weekend. Indeed, absolutely. Well, recent performances by the Harambe Starlets has shown that women too can represent the country and do an absolutely fantastic job at it. Mike, I love to see a woman in power, especially when it's with a ball. That's why we caught up with Sharon of the McAlanders Football Club, which is featured in the Kenya Women's Premier League. Now get this, you can't go anywhere because she gives a fantastic point of view from a lady's perspective. I a ball for over 18 years. I was a ball for 18 years. I was a ball for 18 years. 
na tuwezana no league for 55 years again before premier league uh, ilikuwa in division 1 league tukapanda premier league tukacheza 2 years tukakuwa demoted ndio nikakuja nikasign hapa makolandas timu ya madem iliyokuwa kando kiasi ikapewa jina tofauti inaitwa makolandas fc yenye imekuwa ikicheza league tangu hata before zaliwe so nimekuja nikaipata so that that's the more reason why niliona from the other side ya mtaka maliza nika mkoa team yenye kwa experience kiasi challenges za bola ya madem naweza sema tu wa Kenya ku embrace madem kama footballers ndio imekuwa issue but sasa sisi wenyewe kwa kiwanja hatuoni ni kama tuna problem ndi tumeshaendelea nao tume grow nao ili tulipata yani kwa kwa damu sasa ile tu tukitembea huku nje labda watu wanachukua ni kama watu wako serious na life no no oh, my inspiration from Rambe Stalage is the way they've taken it out from themselves it was the first try they came from their homes it wasn't just something from the league guys were just from their homes the ladies were from their homes and they decided now is our time to show the potential and to show our sponsors that we are able to make it my schedule i i just try to loosen my schedule for my career to fit in my program so mostly na piga zoezi asubuhi very early in the morning from 9 to around 11 then from there i go to work i work with the extreme sports then i come back again i do my house chores then in the evening i make sure i go to the gym so that's when i catch up with my program my advice to anyone who wants to fit into this sporty activities your body physique somehow won't give you food it won't put food on your table it is what you do with your body that will bring you something out so if you choose to be a sports person don't mind how people talk when you're masculine or something you see it's all about god's creation it's all about this thing that take place in our pitches and maybe in all the other sporting activities uh, in women's team i support arsenal ladies and i have my favorite player her name is ashola from nigeria and in men's team i support manchester so that's how my life is consistent My advice to the parents and the guardians are staying with their kids in the house. If your kid is talented in some way or maybe if he or she is a footballer or tennis player or something, borrow it from Wanyama's family. Nobody is doing a proper job, you can say. It's not a do- nobody is doing a white collar job. Mostly I support sports. There's a lot of things and opportunities passing at your doorstep because you've locked your kid in. Did you just witness all that dopeness? Wow. I'm I'm a new fan now. Ladies football, that's what I'm into. Wait, wait, wait. A, a new fan? Did you ever doubt <laughs> us, Mike? Well, I could I could enjoy the uniforms. Like think about it. <laughs> You're so <laughs> bad. Absolutely cool. <laughs> anyway, Sports Central does take a break, but when we come back, we get to hang out with Team Kenya golf captain Bo Sierra. Don't move a muscle. Welcome back. And just in case you're only tuning in now, you're watching Sports Central, the show that's meant to give you your weekly fix of everything sports. Most definitely. And speaking of fix, golf has grown a lot over recent years, especially because of competitions like the Kenya Open and Victoria Cup that matches local golfers with their international counterparts. And I know we keep talking about this over and over again, but we really meant it. We got to catch up with the Team Kenya golf captain Bo Sierra, who gave us his perspective on both the sport and some of the most memorable moments of the sport in Kenyan history. Uh, my background in golf starts about 25 years ago. Uh, that's when my dad introduced me to the game. And uh, it's been uh, an enjoyable career since uh, that time, uh, coming up as a junior and now as a senior in the team. So uh, it's been uh, quite an experience. Golf uh, is definitely picking up in Kenya because we have a lot of uh, interest amongst the juniors and amongst the uh, uh, other members of the society, uh, people that ordinarily would not have had a chance to play golf. So I definitely think it's uh, on the rise. Uh, we just need to put the right structures and uh, give them the supporting environment for them to thrive. Uh, as you notice uh, at the Kenya Open, we have a lot more local players attending uh, 
uh, the Kenya Open and we're hoping that as we grow the game we can have our own local champion. Uh, the one thing that uh, is quite interesting with golf, it sometimes seems like a very passive sport uh, because there's not a lot of uh, physical engagement. However, uh, one thing I've realized about golf is that uh, mentally it forces you to actually play within yourself. It forces you to think throughout the course. It forces you to be very disciplined. It has a lot of uh, mental aspect to it. Uh, the physicality is also coming uh, along with golf as you see some of the uh, big names in golf uh, tend to be very muscular these days, so we bring in the physicality aspect. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a sport on the upswing. One of the best highlights of my golfing career tend to be uh, the Victoria Cup. Uh, coming down the last hole and uh, needing to half my match and having my opponent uh, put the ball where he did, I think I was able to just muster up the confidence and the comfort uh, to just play within my talents and uh, I was able to secure the point for Team Kenya, so that was a proud moment for us. Uh, some of the common terms in golf are uh, par, which is uh, playing the course as uh, you should, whether it's a par 3, par 4, par 5. Uh, when you get a birdie, that is uh, usually one shot less than you're supposed to, which is, uh, let's say, if it's a par 3, you get two on a par 3. So that's always a good thing. Uh, for an eagle, uh, they tend to be a bit rare. Uh, mostly uh, those are two shots uh, below what you're supposed to get. Uh, so let's say it's a par 5, you're supposed to get 5. If you get 4, that's a birdie. If you get 3, that's an eagle. And a hole in one, uh, which is uh, something that all golfers try to uh, achieve in their lifetime, uh, is getting a, a one shot into the hole, normally on a par 3, uh, but it has been done on other holes as well. Uh, but uh, it can sometimes be a very costly affair because uh, the tradition in golf is that if you get a hole in one, you're supposed to buy drinks for everyone that played that day. Uh, so there's the ringing of the bell and opening of the bar. So uh, sometimes uh, it's bittersweet when you get a hole in one, but uh, nonetheless, it's still an achievement. Being a team captain is all about leadership and, and uh, just ensuring that uh, you, you definitely get the best out of your team and just showing them how to uh, carry themselves. Uh, so when it comes to training, I happen to be the first one in the training camp, just ensuring that uh, I'm there to show them that it's, you know, it's hard work that definitely pays. As far as uh, team spirit, I ensure that I lead the team by uh, getting everyone's views and ensuring that uh, we are all uh, geared towards uh, performing optimally. The union is uh, putting in place a program to try and get the schools involved um, so that we can grow the game from an early age so that um, you have uh, young young juniors from the age of uh, seven, eight, nine, learning how to play the game competitively and uh, learning uh, the technical aspects of the game so that when they are of age, uh, they will be able to represent the country. The other area is um, one that the Golf Talent Foundation is uh, addressing. Here we have uh, those, um, those citizens that may not have the op opportunity to access the game of golf. They are being given a chance uh, by being uh, uh, honored uh, into some of the members clubs. So we are seeing a lot of people that would not necessarily have played the game of golf just taking up the game and uh, you know just blowing our minds as far as the talent that they have. A young man that has the uh, he has the dreams of playing golf, but maybe the circumstances or the environment may not be very supportive. What I would tell him is uh, we have experienced the same thing. I went to school um, where I wasn't able or wasn't allowed to play for three months of the, uh, during the uh, school uh, terms. So I was only able to play during the holidays. And one thing that it teaches you is the discipline aspect of golf, where when it is time to play, it's time to play. When it is time to go to school, it's time to go to school. So you learn that golf is about balance. It's not about uh, just playing golf every day and thinking that's how you're going to improve. Uh, school has uh, a role to play as far as improving a human being. And I think if uh, you're able to uh, balance the two as far as being uh, serious and good at school, you shall have the opportunity to play golf at a very high level because you shall have the foundation needed uh, to play uh, uh, well and to play smart.
What do you think, Mike? I thought he was a pretty remarkable guy. Yeah, very remarkable person, and I think also a remarkable sport. Absolutely, right there. Yep. Now, if you love cars, you love engines, you love the vroom, well, Voy was the next location for the rally. And Sports Central got on ground to connect you with the high energy rally action. All roads led to Voy, as motorsport enthusiasts as well as rally drivers headed for the fourth round of the KCB Kenya National Rally Championship, which revisited historic terrain in Taita County. We woke up, we are grateful to God and a uh, beautiful day as you can see, so let's see how it goes today. The drivers flagged off to the course that would prove extremely savage, knocking out a number of challenges as they battle for the coveted number one spot. The stage treated spectators to some exhilarating displays of high-speed driving, dirt, dirt and more dirt. This is a part of rallying I like. You, know, you get to see places you'd otherwise never see in your life. Part of rallying, uh, life to fight another day. But when it all settled, the flying Finn Tapio Laukanen navigated by his compatriot Passi Torma in the Subaru Impreza GVB13 conquered the course, emerging the winner and getting his second win of the season after the opening Cagliado rally in February. Yeah, I mean, uh, we had a very good day today. Um, I made a couple of mistakes myself, and, uh, but I mean, apart from that, it was a brilliant, brilliant day. A lot of tree stumps, which I think you managed to wreck it very well yesterday, and I think you missed a lot of them out there. No, I mean, it's, it's, uh, these stages are very tricky and challenging. You have to be careful you know, during the wrecking. Make, make sure you try to get uh, enough information. Um, yeah, I mean, it's part of the game. Congratulations to you again. Tapio Laukanen, please put your hands together for Tapio Laukanen and uh, Pessi Toma. Defending champion Jasprit Chate navigated by Guru Panisar in their Mitsubishi Evolution 10 came second. While third was seasoned Safari Rally driver Ian Duncan navigated by Andrew Doig in their Mitsubishi Evolution 10. Zawapatia ili support yote ambayo tunaweza kuwapatia kama serikali hata vile vile kuangalia mambo ya organization mambo ya usalama manaka tunataka tujienjoy madereva vile vile wajienjoy na lakini zaidi ya hapo vile vile hata watu wetu wawe salama wakati mashindano haya yanaendelea Now, before we wrap, we're going to go ahead and shout some of you out on Twitter because you're showing mad love and you're cracking us up while you're at it. How about Sammy, who's given us a great picture of some future rally drivers that we have to look forward to? Thanks for that one. Also, Laura, can you like, relájate, Puki? Relax yourself a little bit. I see you talking about she can't believe she just sat through an entire sports show. She would never do it, but it was because of the hot people. I see you want those rugby players to come back. And also, you've got Davey Kibb. 
Dudes, Baba, you're just representing Team Mafisi to the fullest, saying, yep, and let me say this, Wanjira, you're the reason that they are hooked on Sports Central. Wow. I don't buy it. <laughs> Speaking of which, you know what Team Mafisi is? Team Mafisi. Um, let me put it this way. It's the only team that I'm not going to have contact sports with. Whoa. Team Ondiake, do you hear me? No, baby. No, you're never going to get it. Well, from Wanjira, it's all about no hyena business. <laughs> from me, well, I'm just going to tell you this. Yeah, I always love hearing from you. We love hearing from you on Sports Central. So do this. If you do have any funny videos, funny memes, you know, things that are sports, sports related that we would love to see, how about you go ahead and hit us up on our social media pages and uh, share them with us. And you know what? I don't discriminate. Lucky for you. Hyena or not, you can invite us to hang out with you. We would love that. Also, if there's something that you're dying to see on the show, let us know what it is so we can incorporate that into the show just for you. I'll show you how much love we have for you, in fact. The winning tweet is going to go ahead and get merchandise from their team of choice that's either in the Sport PESA Premier League or the Sport PESA Super 8 Premier League. Until then, keep, keep it, it Sports Central. Central.